Hello Raiders sports parents and family members. My name is Trent Hansen, Athletic Director at HHS. As we embark on another exciting season of Raiders Athletics, I thank you for your partnership in supporting our athletes, coaches, and programs. We have a proud athletic tradition at HHS. A hallmark of that tradition is the cooperative efforts between home and school that help our student athletes grow and perform as people, competitors, and citizens. Parenting a child in the world of youth sports today is an involved and challenging task. In this video, we aim to create a better understanding of some key dynamics in our athletic programs. The purpose is to inform, educate, and celebrate. We hope that you'll find this information both informative and beneficial, and that it assists you in supporting your child and all those involved in Raider sports. With the help of our athletes and coaches, we'll be sharing with you four important segments. The state of youth sports, common language, our definition of success, and we'll provide a snapshot of our athletic department profile. Thank you for watching. Let's get started. The youth sports landscape today is complex. In the United States, youth sports is a $19 billion industry. Private training, club teams, and sports tourism dominate the landscape. The professionalization of youth sports has created wide gaps in programming. The ideals of club, educational, collegiate, and professional models simply do not align. As the values of these competing sports brands clash, there is often a lack of alignment in almost every community. From rec to travel and clubs to schools, our experiences with youth sports are diverse. This means we've all arrived here at HHS Athletics with a wide variety of impressions, hopes, and expectations. What we all share, however, is a great connection to our community. As Raiders, we are part of something bigger than ourselves. We get to play alongside our friends, in front of our families and alumni, and contribute to a successful legacy. Participating in high school athletics is a privilege. Over 70% of children who participate in the sports in elementary school do not participate in that sports in high school. It is an experience that statistical few really have the opportunity to enjoy for the long term. If you're watching this, your child is one of them. That being said, 97% of high school student athletes will not participate in any organized competitive athletics afterward. Athletes only have a 3% chance of competing at any level of college athletics, while only 1% will earn a scholarship of any amount. We are committed to supporting and developing the 3%. However, we have a broad and balanced commitment to the 97%. Sports continue to have a huge influence on kids, families, communities, and our society. Here at HHS, over half of our student body plays at least one sport. That is an awesome number. With that exposure, we have a captive audience that we can make a positive impact on. The sports environment can teach rich, lifelong lessons about integrity, sportsmanship, empathy, and work ethic. Athletic participation has the power to transform and positively impact the arc of someone's life. Sports are also an incredible connection and rallying point for families and neighborhoods. So let's dive into what that means for our own school community and the educational sports platform that HHS provides. HHS features education-based sports programming. Education-based athletic programs provide students with growth that will sustain them well beyond physical skill development and the knowledge of the game. Education-based programs leads to the transformation of the student's inner life and connect them to caring adults in their learning community. We are not club sports, and we are not college or professional sports. We are different because our athletic programs are both purpose and goal-oriented. Goals are the results or achievements toward which effort is directed or aimed a destination. Like winning a game, Purpose is the reason for which something exists or is done, like developing life skills. Goals have a beginning and an end, but purpose doesn't. Purpose is what we live for. Our purpose is to provide diverse sports opportunities to develop character and community. We uphold commitment to six core values, integrity, the whole person, sportsmanship, work ethic, multi-sport athletes, and fun. Our intent is to develop life skills that are transferable to all aspects of students' lives now and in the future, as athletes and as people. We also intend to compete, we plan, practice, and prepare to win. 
Our goals include competitive and scoreboard related achievements. It is crucial that as an HHS sports community, we acknowledge that we have both a purpose and goals. With a clear purpose and goals, we intend to provide a transformational experience that inspires growth for our students as people and athletes. To make this even more clear, let's take a look at how we define success in our athletic programs. The average varsity athletic team at HHS has a 12% chance of winning a conference championship and a 10% chance of qualifying for the state tournament. Student athletes have about a 3% chance of competing in their sport in college and a 1% chance of earning a scholarship. Make no mistake, we love to win. We train, prepare, plan, and compete to win. We are proud of our competitive legacy, which includes 12 team state championships, 33 individual state champions, and countless conference titles, and All-American alumni. But winning is not the only thing we measure. Here's our collective definition of success. Our winning legacy is defined by relationships, growth, and competition, and measured by this definition of success. Number one, develop lifelong relationships and Raiders values. Number two, grow towards performance goals and objectives. Number three, contribute positively to the Hastings community. To help measure success according to this definition, we utilize a comprehensive program scorecard that aligns with our values. The scorecard measures participation, retention, and multi-sport rates. It tracks academic grade point averages, team culture, and coaching behaviors. It also documents competitive performance by our teams and individuals. We review sports-specific data and survey student athletes annually. This data helps assess how effective we are at modeling our purpose and core values, developing athletes and people, and preparing athletes to perform at their peak in competition. When we ask, are we successful? It's way more than just a score or a winning record. It's about winning and goals, but it's more about our purpose growth of the student, athlete, and person. We are a member of the Minnesota State High School League and Metro East Conference. We are proud to offer a comprehensive athletic program featuring 30 different varsity sports for boys and girls. All sports offer at least two levels of competition and many offer as many as four levels of play. Over 125 paid and volunteer coaches lead our teams on a seasonal basis. We distinguish ourselves with a collaborative, positive atmosphere. To achieve this, we integrate innovative programming. Athletes and teams participate in performance psychology training through a partnership with the Minnesota State University Sports Performance Center. All teams at all levels receive inside-out character curriculum training. Collision and contact sport athletes are provided complimentary impact concussion testing. Head coaches participate in bi-monthly professional development sessions and annual Minnesota State High School League training. On average, over 740 students, or about 52% of the student body, plays at least one school sport. Over 40% of those participants are multi-sport athletes who compete in at least two different sports. Over 90% of our student athletes report that they learn life lessons that they can apply outside of the game. They are proud to be a member of their team and they would recommend participating in the sport to a friend or classmate. Our retention rate for all sports at all levels is 75%. Our average cumulative team GPA is 3.41, over 15% higher than the average GPA of the student body. From a competitive standpoint, our average conference winning percentage is 57%. Annually, we average three conference champions, three state tournament teams, and multiple Coach of the Year awards and athlete all-state recipients. We are proud of what we represent and how we compete, what we accomplish, and how much we grow. And we're just getting started. When sports are experienced at their most successful, students are challenged and supported. They're allowed to fail and recover, they have opportunities to deal with adversity and succeed with integrity. They're empowered to advocate for themselves and they develop as people and as athletes. They develop lifelong relationships and Raider skills, make growth in pursuit of performance objectives, and make memories they will carry with them forever. We hope our student athletes at Hastings High School have such an experience during their time wearing our blue and gold. I wanna leave you with additional resources to help you and your child along the way as members of the Raiders Athletics family. 
First, our athletics website is hastingsathletics.org. This comprehensive site is full of valuable links, forms, and includes sports-specific team pages by season. You'll find calendars, contact information, online registration, field maps, and more. You'll also find a parent handbook listed under the athletic department tab. Check it out as it contains additional links, resources, and supportive details just for you as a sports parent. Second, I encourage you to follow Raiders Athletics on Twitter at HHS underscore Raider News. We send out about 8 to 10 tweets a month with information, notifications, and celebrations. It's a great way to stay connected. And finally, on behalf of our athletes, coaches, and school community, thank you. Thank you for supporting, encouraging, and celebrating our kids and our teams. We are proud to represent you. Have a great year, and go Raiders.